Welcome to our small tutorial on sliders. Now, the thing you want to pay attention to here is that we know we've installed and played with a couple different themes. Theme authors can build in all sorts of little widgets or gadgets and um, different features to each particular theme. So not every theme has natively built in an ability to add sliders. However, there are several plugins out there that you can download and insert sliders if you don't have that built in natively. The theme we're using, Spacious, does have a slider built in. Before I jump to that, let me just show you what a slider might look like. This is a different theme, um, different slider combination, obviously. Notice here that what's happening is that these images are kind of fading in and out. Now, sliders, generally speaking, actually slide across the page, but I've got this one set to where it just fades in and out. And these um, images up here don't really link to anything. There's a, different, uh, there's a difference in that, too, in the fact that most sliders will actually have stories or headlines that you'll link out to. Um, this one is added just as a visual kind of thing. Notice also, too, the um, height of this particular piece, right? You have to give consideration to how much real estate you're going to give to your visual slider. Um, in this particular case, we felt like the photos were fairly dramatic enough and wanted to showcase the environment center, so we um, made nice large images. But let's go back into our theme and figure out how we can do this. First of all, let's take a look at our theme as it stands now. The thing we need to know is that this theme has obviously a background and it has a header image right in here. Now, you also need to know that almost every theme will have different things that you can do under the customization area. So taking a look under appearance, themes, and then customize, where I had originally directed you folks to do your work is under this customize and if we go under header image here this is where we're drawing this particular header image I also spoke to you at that time about how to uh, crop that or shrink that up so that you get a nice um, small header right um, in order for the slider to work I have to turn off this particular header because we actually have in this theme another location that we can actually in, insert headers into. So once again, the traditional place and where we would normally go is under Appearance, Themes, and Customize. But under this particular theme, and you should look for this on anything that you've installed, they may have extra little pieces here and there. If you come down, there's a new option here called Theme Options. Once I click on that, now I can see that I've got options for headers, design. This is where you folks laid in how many columns, how many um, uh, sections that you're going to deal with, as well as um, how wide your page is. By the way, if you haven't shrunk this down to a, um, a layout of 978 pixels, you should. That allows us to see the background. It gives you a couple of little other options like a fave icon. You can also upgrade to their professional version which might give you some um, more options, right? But here's where we're looking at the slider. Now, actually, before I do that, I need to jump back over here to the header. And this is what I want to show you here. Um, the, the header logo, you can't use that if you're using a slider. So that's one of the reasons why I had you get rid of it. Um, there's some other choices here that we may have to come back and adjust once we've got the slider up and running. But let's go ahead and take a look at how to get a slider in there. The first thing I've done is actually, let me jump out of here and go back over to media. Um, I have uploaded several images. Some of them are from my personal library. Some of them I've, I've downloaded and I've got a little credits page running off to the side. But as an example, this is, uh, this is an image that I took myself. And I've gone ahead and cropped it to 1,500 by roughly 400 pixels. And you want to mentally keep note of that. So the dolphin is 1500 by 400. And the reason why you want to keep note of that is that you have to experiment with the sizes of the pieces that you want to use so that you understand how they lay in. Um, obviously you don't want to use different sizes. Here I've used 1500 by 401. Now let me jump back 
And actually, let me jump back one more time and just show you and talk to the idea. When you chose a theme option here under design, note that if you've designated your theme to be no wider than 1218, then truthfully, an image of 1500 is overkill. However, it doesn't hurt the page to go overkill. You know you're going edge to edge. However, it's always better practice to shrink it down to what you want it to be, mainly because of page weight. And that's something that we've already talked about, but you do want to optimize. Even though the user can't see it, that entire file is still downloading. Here I've got a box layout with 978. And that basically means to me that if I have an image that's about a thousand pixels wide, I should be more than fine. I probably wouldn't get anxious about trimming it even down to 978 specifically. I'd probably leave it the 1024 or 1000 whatever. Um, so that's how, how I can kind of guess at how wide my images have to be, is taking a look at that. Another way to guess at how wide your images have to be to fit in these sliders is if, if the theme comes with any sample images, look at how wide and tall they are. Um, and then, of course, the third way is just to simply play with it. Now, I've gone ahead and I've, um, I'm going to rename this image cropped here so that I know what this is. I'm going to call it plant, and I'm going to call this plant because those are always good practices there. Now, these captions and descriptions do come into play in this particular slider, and I'll show you where momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and update that. And then once I've done that, now I really want to uh, pay attention. It's 1,024 wide, which is fine, but it's 685 tall, and that's that's way too, too tall. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Edit Image, and I'm going to crop this image. And in order to crop, of course, I'm going to have to come in here. I'm going to have to make a selection. And I can see that this is 1,020 by 218. 218 is probably a good size. In fact, let's go down to 200. And let's run this out to 1024 because that's what it is width-wise. So, you know, of course, depending on what I want as my image, I'm going to go ahead and um, crop those pieces. So I've cropped that by clicking on the Crop tool, and then I'm going to save. And I've gone ahead and again, I've, I've inserted, or excuse me, I've uploaded and I've cropped a couple of different images already so that I'm ready to go for this exercise. Let me go ahead and now jump to Appearance, Theme Options. And now I'm going to come over here to this option called Slider. The first thing I want to do, of course, is click on Check to Activate Slider. What's nice about this is I can set up the slider I can save it, I don't have to activate it, or um, even nicer, I can turn it on and off if I don't want it on some days versus others. So the first thing, of course, if I take a look at this, there are different boxes for each particular um, chunk here. So I'm going to click on Upload, and instead of doing a true upload, it's going to take me to my media library. I'm going to click on this first one, which is an Aurora uh, Borealis image. I'm going to click on select and again I've already cropped this one so I know it's it's the size that I want it to be and of course I do want to put in um, the correct um, concepts there right the correct descriptors they do appear as titles on your slider so uh, obviously, if you didn't put anything in, in terms of the slider uh, title or description, it wouldn't appear. But um, for the sake of demonstrating, I'm going to definitely do that. Now, this slider redirect, most of the time, we don't have images, for example, like this, that are just purely decorative. We wouldn't normally waste our landscape and time for decorative images. So most of the time, you set up sliders to where when the person clicks on it, it takes them to an article an image or, or additional information. So in this particular case, and, and this is kind of a nice way to combine rotating posts or quick articles that aren't part of your main front page, um, along with a page that has predominantly just page connections, right? So this is kind of a 
thing that kind of comes and goes. You don't want the same images sliding across your website for all eternity. People would get bored. It would just become a gimmick and you'd want to drop it. The only reason you'd really want to use a, a slider is if you're doing something very special um, in terms of image showcasing or if you are um, enticing them to look at other additional information. It catches their eyes. So I've gone ahead and put in the um, link that I want them to go to should they click on that image. Now, do you have to have a redirect link in there? No. But again, you don't necessarily want put to put sliders in there uh, for n no reason. Um, it, it gets boring after time. So you, if, if you do put in sliders just for decorative purposes, try to change them up so that people get um, a little bit of a difference, right? Um, I'm going to go ahead and go back and pick my image of the plant that I've got going here. And once again, uh, you can see remnants of my um, previous work here. I'm going to go ahead and do that plant, right? Now, this image, the plant image and the Aurora Borealis, I know are 1024 wide. I know that they're running about two to 300 pixels tall. Now, on this image, this is an image I took. Um, I know that when I cropped it, I wasn't sure how wide I wanted to go on it. So that image is about 1,500 wide and about 350, 400 tall. So that's quite a bit larger than these two images. And I want to show you what they look like all together on the page, right? Um, I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on Save Options. Sorry for the lawnmower going out on outside. I really can't control that. So in any case, I've turned on the slider and I've inserted some images. So let's go take a look at what it looks like. I need to refresh. And there it is. So here's a, uh, an immediate situation. Notice here that uh, I can, as I get to larger images, notice that the on the left side where the um, read more and the um, title pieces are popping up. If the image isn't tall enough, as in that Aurora Borealis or even this plant image, notice that it looks awkward and it cascades into my page. I probably wouldn't want that. Here's the dolphin image where it is actually much larger than it needs to be. Here what I would do is I'd go back and, and recrop this Aurora Borealis image. Here I would um, probably recrop this to be a little bit larger. This one I'd crop down. It's too large, right? Um, but I did want to show you here. This is the one that's actually linked so that if the person clicks anywhere into this uh, area here, it takes them to an actual website. So that's how you turn on and put in sliders in your header. The other thing, of course, is this piece up here, I believe, within our options, you can actually come over here to header and say position it below the header. Click on save. Once that's done, come over here and reload and see what that looks like. It didn't do anything, dang it. Let me just save this one more time. Nope, nope, it didn't do anything, sorry. Um, and that's part of learning. That's part of just playing around. So there's nothing wrong with playing around with the different options, different uh, tools. Go for it. Uh, for your assignment here, take at least three images. Go ahead and crop them to the size you want. Insert the header. Preferably use images that are, are meaningful to your site and um, correlate graphic-wise with your site. Um, but go ahead and once you're done, email me that you're done so I can grade it. And then at that point, if you really don't want the slider to be working across the top, you're more than welcome to turn it off. So I will talk to you later. Bye.